Imagine having a seven-year-old child and over the course of just a few weeks begins to develop severe pounding headaches, trouble with balance, and stumbling. Along with the headaches, she's having uncontrollable nausea and vomiting. That's the case I want to talk to you about today, and her teachers say that she's been progressively more tired as well at school. The parents decided to bring her in to see the pediatrician, and along with the clumsiness on physical examination, the pediatrician also noted something called nystagmus. The child also had poor coordination with finger-to-nose testing. The retinal examination also showed something called papilledema. All of these findings alarmed the pediatrician showed the child was sent to the emergency department where a CT scan of her brain was performed that showed these findings and that prompted an MRI that showed these findings right here. So what findings on physical examination were concerning and what do you see on the MRI that would give you a differential diagnosis in this case? So what should we do with this patient and what other testing should be performed? September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and I wanna use this case as an example to raise awareness. So let me know what you think the diagnosis is in the comment section and stay tuned tomorrow and I'll explain the whole case.